class let's continue our lesson by learning how to solve some questions under algebraic expression assuming we are asked to simplify x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 2 multiplied by x squared minus x over x squared minus 9. The second question says we should simplify m plus 1 over m minus 1 minus m minus 1 over m plus 1 plus 4 over m squared minus 1. Factorize 2xy minus 6m, 6mn minus 3my plus 4nx. We should factorize completely 6x squared minus 5xy minus 6y squared. And then x squared plus 4x plus 3 plus mx plus 3m. Let's start with number 1. Now, in number 1, we have been asked to simplify x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 2 multiplied by x squared minus x over x squared minus 9. I have seen students cancel out. x squared will cancel x squared. x squared will cancel x squared. This x will cancel this x. 2 go here, 1, 2 go here. Why do you do that? In fact, you are disgracing mathematics. So we don't do that at all. Let me show you how we go about this. So this is how we go about it. So this is a quadratic expression. This is also a quadratic expression. But this one, there's no constant. This is also another quadratic expression. <clears throat> and this is the difference of two squares. So it's, if you are able to identify them easily, it becomes very easy for you to solve them. So if I have x squared plus x minus 6, I need to factorize this. So assuming I have x squared plus x minus 6. So this is the coefficient of x squared is 1. So 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Give me the factors of negative 6. I can have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. I want the 1, when I multiply, I get negative 6. But when I add, I get positive 1. So getting positive 1, it means my 3 should be positive. And then my two, two, my 2 must be what? Negative. So that 3 minus 2 will give me 1. So this is the same as x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. So that 3x minus 2x is x. So what is common here? x. I have x plus 3 minus 2 out x plus 3. So that this times this is this. This times this is this. So I have x plus 3, x minus 2. So the expression x squared plus x minus 6 is giving us x plus 3 and then x minus 2 divided by... Now let's go and factorize the second one too. If we should factorize the second one, which is the denominator of x squared plus x minus 6, we shall have, if I have x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now again, 1 times 2 is 2. I want two numbers. When I multiply, I get positive 2. But when I add, I get minus 3. So I have factors of 2 to be 1 and 2. So what if I negate them? Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. So my factors are negative 1 and negative 2. So I can write this as x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2. So I minus 2x minus x is minus 3x. And negative 2 times negative 1 will give me positive 2. So what is common here? x. I have x minus 2. Then minus 1 out x minus 2. So at this times this is this. And this times this is this. Nega nega is po So positive 2. So I have x minus 2, x minus 1. So this expression at the denominator is giving us x minus 1, x minus 2. Multiplied by now. When we come to the numerator, x squared minus x. If I have x squared minus x, there is no constant term for me to say 1 times, let's say, 0 is 0. So we look for the common variable. And x is common. So if I factorize x out, I have x minus 1. So at this time, this is x squared. And this time, this is minus x. So this is giving me x out, x minus 1. And then when I have x squared minus 9, x squared minus 9, we are saying, is the difference of what? 2 squares. So I can write this as x squared minus 3 squared. This is now difference of 2 squares. So I have x minus 3, 
x plus 3. So the denominator is giving me x minus 3 and then x plus 3. So now we are going to simplify the expression. <coughs> so we have x plus 3, x minus 2, x minus 1, x minus 2, multiplied by x into x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 3. Now we are going to cancel the common ones out. So if I have x plus 3, x plus 3 will go into x plus 3, 1. x minus 2 will also go into x minus 2, 1. x minus 1 will also cancel, and we have x minus 1 canceling out. So my final answer is, this will give me 1 times 1 times x. So this is giving me x, and then 1 times 1 times x minus 3, I have x minus 3. So this is our final answer, x over x minus 3. Please, don't go ahead and cancel this x and this x. No. This is our final answer. Leave it this way. Thank you. So, we are going to solve question 2. And in question 2, we have m plus 1 over m minus 1 minus m minus 1 over m plus 1 plus 4 over m squared minus 1. Now, just like any other question, assuming I give you 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, plus 1 over, let's say, 12. Normally, when I give you um, a fraction like this to solve, you tell me you find your least common multiple. So if I have 2, 3, and 12, normally my LCM is 12. So that 2 will go into 12, um, 6 times, times 1, we have 6 plus, and so on and so forth. The same way, over here, we are going to get our LCM. Now, if I have m minus 1, m plus 1, and m squared minus 1, this m squared minus 1 is the same as m squared minus 1 squared, because 1 squared is still 1, which is the difference of what? 2 squared, which is m minus 1, m plus 1. So my LCM now becomes m minus 1, m plus 1, which is the same as m squared minus 1. Just as if you have 2, 3, and 12. You don't tell me your LCM is 2 times 3 times 12. No, your LCM is 12 because... 12 has both what? The multiple of 2 and 3 in it. So just as I have m minus 1, m plus 1, and m minus 1, m plus 1 here, my LCM is m minus 1, m plus 1. Very good. So like we have m plus 1 over m minus 1, and then our LCM is m minus 1, m plus 1. Now, m minus 1, we're going to m minus 1, m plus 1. I left it m plus 1. So this is going to give me m plus 1 into m plus 1. So m plus 1 will multiply m plus 1. Then followed by a minus sign. m plus 1 will go into m minus 1, m plus 1. I left it what? m minus 1. So I have m minus 1 and then m minus 1. Then plus m squared minus 1, which is m minus 1, m plus 1. We're going to m minus 1, m plus 1. 1 times 4, we have 4. Now, remember this negative is affecting the whole of this. I can choose to bring a curly bracket here. So after expanding, I use the negative to multiply two. So we are going to expand. When we expand, our LCM is still m minus 1, m plus 1. Now, m times m is m squared. m times 1 is positive m. 1 times m is positive m. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Minus, again, m times m is m squared m times minus 1 is minus m, minus 1 times m is minus m, and negative times negative is positive, so we have positive 1 plus 4. We go ahead and then we simplify them. We shall have m minus 1, m plus 1 as our LCM. So this will give us m squared plus 2m plus 1, because m plus m is 2m. Then minus out m squared, minus m minus m is minus 2m, then we have plus 1, then plus 4. This is going to give us, we are going to move the brackets here, so we have m minus 1, m plus 1. So this is going to give us m squared plus 2m plus 1, minus m squared plus 2m 
minus 1 plus 4. So after I use the negative to multiply through by removing the bracket, we are going to see whether we can simplify some of the terms. Remember, I can only add terms which have the same coefficients. So over here, I'm going to get my LCM as m minus 1, m plus 1. So I'm going to add m squared minus m squared, 2m plus 2m, positive 1 minus 1 plus 4. How many terms do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've utilized all the seven terms. So now, this is going to give me, I have my LCM m minus 1, m plus 1. So m minus m is 0, m squared minus m squared is 0, 2m plus 2m is 4m, then 1 minus 1 is 0, so I have plus 4. So again, I think in the numerator, 4 is common. So this is going to give us 4 out m plus 1 over m minus 1, m plus 1. So this m plus 1 will cancel this m plus 1. My final answer is 4 over m minus 1. Very good. So in number 3, we're told to factorize 2xy minus 6x, 6mn minus 3my plus 4nx. Now, when I watch the first two terms, x is here, there's no x here. Y is here, there's no y here. So there's nothing common here. So I need to rearrange the terms of this expression. So I can write this as, because there's 2x here and there's 4x here, I can write this as 2xy plus 4nx, then minus 3my minus 6mn. So looking at this, I can now factorize because this has a common um, coefficient and this also have a common coefficient of what? m. So what, what is common here? 2xy plus 4nx. So 2x is common. When I factorize, I have y plus what? 2n. So this times this, 2x times y is 2xy, and 2x times 2n is 4nx. Then minus 3m is common over here. So this will give me y, because minus 3m times y is minus 3my, and then we have plus 2n. So minus 3m times 2n is minus 6mn. So this and this are the same. I have y plus 2n, and then 2x minus 3m. We have 6x squared minus 5xy minus 6y squared. So we have been asked to factorize this expression. So we are going to use the way we solve the expression, the quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c. When we multiply our a times c, look for two numbers from so that we get c. When we add, we get what the middle term b. So if I should multiply 6 times minus 6, 6 times minus 6, I get minus 36. So factors of 36, I can have 1 times 36, and 2 times 18. We can also have 3 times 12. We can also have 4 times 9. And we can also have 6 times 6. So if these are the factors of 36, I want the factors of 36, when I multiply, I get minus 36. When I add, I get minus 5. So I think 4 and 9 can give me the minus 5. And I think minus 9 and positive 4 will give me minus 5. So if I have 6x squared minus 5x squared minus 6x squared, I can write this as 6x squared. Remember, I'm using 4 and minus 9. So plus 4xy minus 9xy minus 6y squared. So that's 4xy minus 9xy will give me minus 5xy. Now we look for the common variable here. If I have 6 and 4, I think 2 is common. So 2 will go, and then x is also common. So I have 3x plus um, 2x will go into 4xy, and left with what? 2y. So that 2x times 3x will give us 6x squared, 
and 2x times 2y will give us 4xy. Then we come to the second one. What is common here? Minus um, 3. So we have minus 3. And then y. So minus 3y is also common, which will also give us um, minus 3 times 3 is 9. So 3y. So we have 3x. So making 9xy. And then minus 3y is going to 6y squared plus what? 2y. So we have 3x plus 2y and 2x minus 3y. So the expression is now giving us 2x out, 3x plus 2y, minus 3y out, 3x plus 2y. So the one in the brackets are the same, so we write it once, 3x plus 2y, and then we have 2x minus 3y. In the last question, which is question 5, we have been asked to factorize this. So if we should take into consideration this term of the expression and then this term separately, I think it will do us a lot of good. Because if we should say we are going to factorize x out, factorize 3 out here, what happens to the mx? So the best thing is to solve this as a quadratic expression and then we move on. So, just as we saw for any quadratic expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, 1 times 3 is 3. Two numbers, one number I get 3, one I get 4, is the same 3 and 1. So, this can be expressed as x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3. So, that 3x plus 1x is 4x. Then, plus mx plus 3m. So this is going to give us, we factorize the common one, which is x, x plus 3. Then what is common here? 1. 1 out, x plus 3. So plus, over here, so we have m out, x plus 3. So this and this are the same. I write it once, x plus 3, and then x plus 1. Plus m out, x plus 3. Now, just as we say this and this are the same, we write it once. The same way this time again, this and this are the same, I write it once. x plus 3. And then this and this, I get x plus 1 plus m.